If you were ever curious as to what dinosaur meat may have tasted like, chances are you've probably already eaten some, perhaps even recently. Paleontologists have discovered multiple fossils, from Archaeopteryx to Zen Wanlong, that show that modern birds are indeed the direct descendants of dinosaurs. In fact, scientists now classify all living birds as avian dinosaurs. And these magnificent animals come in a variety of species and flavors. From Thanksgiving turkey to pecking duck and even dino-shaped chicken nuggets, avian dinosaur meat is enjoyed by people around the world. Of course, when it comes to dinosaurs, most people are referring to the now-extinct non-avian dinosaurs. The most popular and well-renowned of these animals is none other than the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex. In popular culture, T-Rex is depicted as a mighty man-eating killing machine. Now we flip the script, and this time it will be us humans eating the Tyrant Lizard King. But would this animal really make a delectable dinosaur dish, or was T-Rex something you would want to leave off your plate? While it's impossible to come up with an exact answer, we can still speculate based on what scientists know about T-Rex anatomy, lifestyle, and diet, and then compare these attributes to modern day animals. Since birds are the closest living relatives of non-avian dinosaurs, it's tempting to say that T-Rex must have tasted like chicken, but even the birds of today taste very different from each other. All meat is composed of muscle fibers, and muscle fibers come in two different varieties, slow twitch and fast twitch fibers. Slow twitch muscle fibers are what make up red meat, these are used for lower intensity and longer duration activities. The darker coloration of red meat is due to a protein called myoglobin, which supplies oxygen to these muscles. Red meat is described as being tougher and having a more stronger, distinct flavor. Fast twitch muscle fibers, on the other hand, are what make up white meat, and they are used in short bursts of high intensity activities. These muscles use a stored form of sugar called glycogen as their source of energy which gives the meat a more pale coloration. White meat is more tender compared to dark meat, but has more mild flavor. Chickens use fast twitch muscles to flap their wings and help them run up trees to escape predators, hence why they have a lot of white meat. And based on the current scientific consensus, Tyrannosaurus rex on the other hand would have had a lot of red meat throughout its body to help the animal carry out an active predatory lifestyle. When it comes to Tyrannosaurus rex, the best modern day equivalent for flavor would be that of carnivorous birds of prey, such as hawks and condors. The all meat diet of predatory birds gives their own meat a very pungent and foul flavor. Thus, Tyrannosaurus rex's affinity to raw flesh and carrion would have caused the meat of the animal to be foul tasting as well. In addition to having a less than pleasant taste compared to the red meat of say a turkey leg, Tyrannosaurus rex meat would have also been riddled with parasites. So if you ever did have the hypothetical chance to try a T-Rex T-bone, and the flavor wasn't enough to make you queeze, rest assured, something else would. In conclusion, Tyrannosaurus rex would not have made for a very tasty or pleasant meal. There are still plenty of dinosaurs that could have had better meat, such as the emu-like Ornithomimus or the duck-like Halskoraptor. But for now, I think it's best that we keep T-Rex and other extinct dinosaurs off our plates and stick to our beloved dino nuggets. If you would like to learn more about Tyrannosaurus rex, be sure to check out my video where I cover 10 interesting facts about this incredible dinosaur. As always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.